Welcome to another holiday edition of Farrarin with the MYH. We are playing Fishing Planet again, and today I'm doing float fishing. We're taking the Produce 1110 and the Espira Double Punch 6500 for a spin, and we're going to be going to see if we can get some muskies. Shh, be very, very quiet. We're hunting for muskies. Well, technically, we're fishing for them. But, hey oh, everything goes around here now, doesn't it? Or a crazy bunch over MYH. Uh, uh, what are you doing, Fritz? Why are you walking in the water? Stop! Sorry, master. Good. Fritz is learning to fish. And now, this is the easy part of float fishing. You have your little shiner on your hook, you have you float in the water, and then you wait. And you wait some more, while the shiner is just swimming around, merrily. Actually, Christmas gone now. The shiner swims New Year's -ily? That doesn't make any sense. So we'll go with that. Because it fits in the theme of our crazy bunch that we are. Seriously? No fish. This is... Right. We are fishing in Michigan. And this is a pike heaven. It's like, there's northern bike, there are muskies, clear muskies, tiger muskies. There are some catfish, blue catfish, they get very large. And there are also sturgeons, white sturgeons to be exact, they grow rather large as well. First water drum, Jay likes those. I'm going to be catching one of those later, because these muskies are not cooperating with me. And I don't like that, I like uh, things to cooperate with me. So, yeah, we're just waiting and waiting. One thing I will have to tell you guys though. If you are fishing in a place like this and you can't really see you float, in the game settings there is a place where you can put in a sound, like a little warning, so whenever there's a fish nibbling, you can hear it. And then on the right side of your screen above your bars there is a float thing there, and when the float disappears that's a good indicator that you will probably need to do something about the fish that's on the hook. So. We have hooked into a musky. Well, I hope it's a musky. And that's what we're here for. So. From the last video, we learned to not let the line tension go up. Not to stress our gear too much. And to be honest, with these match rods, it's much harder to take in a big fish than it is with a spinning rod or a casting rod. It's not only because you can't have the highest line or anything like that, it's just the rod works differently. It's just completely understandable, I mean, that's how it works. But yeah, let's see if we can reel this bad boy in. More girl. I don't know how to check a fish's sex. And I'm not going to. So, let's just leave that at that. And I hope you enjoyed the little compilation and we'll be back when we finally hook into something more big.
Okay, here we are. Hooked into hopefully a bigger fish. Maybe it's the unique musket that I'm looking for. That's actually a species of pike that still the unique eludes me. Well, to be honest, I haven't really been hunting for it that much. It's just the northern pikes that I've been after. Uh, I haven't had the best of luck with their size yet, but I'm now reliably hooking the uniques. Muskies, haven't really found them yet. I'm trying different depths and stuff with uh, these ones. Probably noticed it. If you were looking close enough of the speed up version, you probably noticed me twiddling with the depth and stuff. Hook size? Nah, I mean, these things grow large, so you might as well use big hooks, so I'm using a 6 odd. They actually recommend an 8 odd. I mean, that's a massive hook, but yeah. Let's see, let's pull her up. And 3, 2, and a half. Yeah. Not a unique. These things grow to over 70 pounds, so that's halfway there. Not really there, but eh. So, since we can't catch a musky, let's go and look what we can do with the freshwater drum. Maybe that will be bigger. Let's actually clear that up. Not necessarily bigger, just unique, you know? There has to be unique in the video, otherwise it's not cool enough. And I mean, the unique will bring up the coolness of a video by about 10%, so that's just enough for it to be cool. This this one's giving a nice fight, so maybe we have a winner here, guys. Gals? May, maybe that does look a nice sized fish. I mean, did you see the back? It's really nice. See, let's pull her up. And... Well, nearly 23 pounds. New record. Yeah, I'll have that. That's a fat fish. Jay loves those. And they fight very well. So, after that, I decided, okay, there's still another fish that I could try for. So I found a location for a new fish. Well, to me, it's a new fish. It's the clear muskies. It's another pike. And they're here-ish. Around somewhere here. And what I'm trying to do is trying to catch the biggest clear musky. They also grow really large. Not sure if they grow the same size as the normal muskies, around the 70 pound mark. But to be honest, I'd be happy to just hook up around a 30 pounder. That'd be nice. Did you hear the ding? That was the ding of the fish nibbling at the shiner. And now the shiner is just going like, please, no, not my tail. I like my precious tail. Please don't bite me. No. Well, too bad. The muskies, well, I hope it's a musky, has now eaten the shiner. And it's hooked. So. Uh, this is the reason why anyone would keep coming back to this game. I mean, when you think about it, in all honesty, it's quite repetitive in a way, the game. Because all you do is fish and stuff. But the thing is, you have so much to do for, like, there's so many fish pieces, so many records to break, and they fight. Even with the best gear in the game, the big fish will give the run for your money and you are going to be fighting them for minutes. Sometimes, some people have reported, and Jake can attest to this, he is actually one of those people, who fought a fish for nearly an hour, or even more. It's just amazing to me, and that just makes you want to play more. That's a beautiful fish, nearly 27 pounds. A clear musky, personal record. So, that's that for me today. I hope you had a nice Christmas, and I hope you enjoy your new year. And I'll be seeing you in the next video. Bye bye.